passing through the graphics device node from Proxmox host into the LXE container allows you to use hardware acceleration and transcoding. Let's see how to do that today. What's up Geek Army, welcome back to the channel, Anand here. I like Proxmox LXC for my Docker based home server and media server. I have covered this in detail in many videos in the past. If you're interested, take a look at the playlist in the description below. In my last video, I showed you how to pass through the network device node into the LXC so you can run VPN like applications inside the LXC. Today, I'm going to show you how to pass through the graphics device node in the same way and this is described in detail in many online documentation. This is one reason why I prefer LXE over virtual machine for Docker, even though I know some of you are going to argue against me on this topic. But doing this in a virtual machine, in my opinion, is much more difficult. In addition, passing through a graphics card to a virtual machine means it's typically unavailable for the host machine. But this may or may not be okay with you depending on the situation. It is also much harder to share the same card with multiple VMs, but this is not the case with LXEs. With the graphics node passed through, you can take advantage of hardware transcoding in applications like Plex, Jellyfin, running on LXE. I won't claim to know all the other ramifications, but for media servers, this works great. Please be a friend, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and if you like everything I have been doing so far, my guides, GitHub, these videos, and the Deployer Home Lab automation script, then please consider becoming a member on my website. Okay, let's jump in and get this done today. All right, here I am on my Proxmox web interface. As usual, here you can see container number 800, which is the ultimate Docker media server that I have been building in all of my past videos. You can also see my Proxmox host, which has the Intel 13th generation CPU, which has Intel QuickSync. And this is what I'm going to pass through into my media server so I can leverage hardware transcoding for Plex and Jellyfin and MB if that's what you're using. So I'm already SSH'd into my Proxmox server right here using Mobax Term, the SSH client that I like to use. I'm also SSH'd into UDMS, the ultimate Docker media server. So let's begin the process. How do we do it? If we navigate to slash dev and do an ls, we're gonna see a folder called DRI. And if we go into DRI, we're gonna see a bunch of different things. But what's important is the render D128. And if you have multiple video cards, you might see more than just render D128. So we're gonna pass this through into the LXE container. So if I go into the LXE container right here and go to cd slash dev, and do an ls, I'm probably not going to see the DRI folder just because we haven't passed it through. So let's do that right now. So if I'm gonna use the example of my media server, which is what I use, and these are the lines that we're gonna paste into the LXE configuration right here, the ones that are highlighting. I will put the code block in the description below or put a link to it to my GitHub repository where you might find this as well. So don't worry about reading through these lines right now. Okay, so here are the six lines that we're gonna copy over, copy, and let's head over to the other window. I'm gonna edit the configuration file. So cd slash etc slash pve slash lxc will take me there. If I do an ls, I'm seeing all the configuration files. The one we want to edit it is the 800 one. So nano or pseudo nano 800 and that's going to ask me for my password. I am in. Now ignore everything after this point right here because I've taken many snapshots of this LXE so you're gonna find all these things. Typically you're going to see only the top layer right here. So let's head over to right after where I pass through the network node in my previous video if you remember. We're gonna copy this block over from the other window once again. Don't worry about reading through the lines. I will put the code block in the description or at least give you a link where you can find that. So let's paste that right here. We did that. Now notice that we are passing through render D128. In your case, it may be different. If so, then make sure that you change this one. So let's save this file and exit and I'm going to reboot 
my ultimate Docker media server for this change to take effect and then we'll come back and continue. Okay, I am back. The LXE container rebooted. So let's go over to slash dev and do an LS. Now we're gonna see the DRI folder on the LXE. So if I go into DRI and do an LS, I'm going to see exactly the same things that are available on the host machine now. So slash dev slash DRI and do an LS. Let's do an LS dash AL so we can also see the permissions right here. So it's owned by root and a few other um, people or groups. So let's do an LS dash AL. And we're going to see that in this case, it's not owned by root by nobody and no group. It should be okay just because the permissions are read, write, read, write and read, write for everybody. So whoever has access to this, this device should be able to read and write. So it should be okay as it is right now. And now that the graphics device node has been passed through into the LXE, you can use hardware transcoding on Jellyfin or Plex and reduce the usage of your CPU and use your GPU for this purpose. This is exactly what I do as I said in the past on my top 10 v700 mini pc that has the 13th gen intel processor with the intel quicksync and it has intel iris xe graphics card and now i'm able to use that card inside my media server which is running on lxc so if you like this video please like and subscribe i'm asking you one more time i would much appreciate it if you can do that for me and if you like my videos please hit that notification bell so you know when the next video comes out. I will see you in my next video. Go Geek Army.